Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Catherine Woodward. She's a Logan County FFA. You're the vice president there, yes. right? Good morning, Catherine. Good morning. Now, Catherine, I think it's so cool, the things that you're working on. And first, we're going to talk a little bit about who's Catherine. I know that you go to Logan County High School. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, so, my name is Catherine Woodward and I'm 17 and I'm from Logan County. I live on our family farm in Auburn, Kentucky. And I own my own business, Blacklick Creek Apiary and Market. Um, I'm FFA Vice President. Um, I'm an ambassador for Logan County High School, and I'm a beekeeper. Okay, so you're a beekeeper. Not many 17-year-olds <laughs> are beekeepers. What got you excited about beekeeping? Um, my freshman year of high school, I really didn't know what I want my didn't know what I wanted my SAE to be, and so I kind of looked for things like were different, and beekeeping was one. Um, nobody in the chapter had really ever done that before, so I kind of thought, why not do it? So I took a couple classes and kind of got interested in it, and then April of 2020 is when I got my first four hives, and I'm now at 13 hives. Oh, wow. So for people who might not have been in FFA, tell me a little bit about what an SAE is. Um, SAE is a supervised agriculture experience. So um, whether it's like beef cattle, um, some people show swine, different things like that. Um, it's an agriculture experience that gets you out there and gets you involved in agriculture um, while learning about it and learning about the aspects of what it is. So not only are you learning about beekeeping with all those hives and ex the honey extraction, but it's also like sales and marketing because yes. you're going to be marketing your honey. Yes. Um, I recently harvested 150 pounds of honey and I still have about four more hives to go. So I'm excited for that this week, but um, yeah, there's a lot of marketing into it. You have to figure out how am I going to get these people to know about my products? Um, how can they benefit from like the knowledge of learning about it? Because um, I think it's important that you market it out there because not a lot of people know about beekeeping. So sharing the facts and like your journey with them kind of gets people kind of pumped up about the honey and see how it's like made and the process of it. Well, people want to know. They want to yeah. know more about where their food comes from and they want to know their farmer. Yes. And um, that's so exciting. Now you have built, recently built a honey house. Yes. Um, it's called Blacklit Creek Apiary and Market. Um, it's a building where I'm going to use it to extract my honey, store some of my stuff, and then I'm also opening up like a little market there, and it's going to have other SAE projects in it and like Kentucky Proud local things to the community that they can buy and purchase. Super exciting. So yes. not only are you a beekeeper, but now you're a store owner, a business <laughs> owner. So you have a big event coming up, and I want to hear more about that. Yes, the Blacklit Creek Honey Festival. Um, so what that is, is it's going to have uh, tons of different vendors. So right now I have 10 different vendors. Um, then the Logan County FFA food truck will be there. Awesome. Then I also have an observation hive. Um, a local beekeeper is bringing in an observation hive um, and doing a little craft for kids. Oh, um, cool. So that will then um, tender to them where the parents can, their um, students can get like a hands-on experience with agriculture and see the whole process and how it works. Um, and then I'm also going to have live music. Um, Christopher Brown from Maceo will be there, uh, kind of singing some acoustic to kind of like have like a fun family atmosphere for people to enjoy. Absolutely. So tell me when and where the Honey Fest is going to be. Yes. Um, so the Honey Fest will be July 31st. Um, it's in Auburn, Kentucky. Um, it's 1039 Quarry Road, Auburn, Kentucky. Um, it's about a mile off 6880 in between Bowling Green and Restaville. Okay. Um, so it'll be at the Honey House, so this will be the first time people will get to come out and see the Honey House and see all the vendors and different things going on. So who can come? Only Logan County or can anybody watch and come? Anybody can come. Okay. Uh, you can be from Tennessee and come. You can be from anywhere. Okay. Um, this is a family fun event and I hope everyone comes. Okay. Is there admission to come? No. This is a free event. Anyone can come. It runs from 9 o'clock in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. I know there's going to be great things coming from you all year long. How can people follow along? Um, you can follow along through my uh, Facebook and Instagram page, Blacklit Creek Apiary. Um, on there, I'll be posting events that we have going on. So right now we have listed as Honey Fest. So people can go on there, follow on there, um, and just different things in the community. And find out where to get some of this great honey. Yes. All right, Catherine, appreciate you visiting with us today. Make sure to follow along Black Lit Creek Apiary on Facebook and Instagram for all the information about Honey Fest and where to get the honey. We appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show and hope you have a great day. Thank you.